If you own a pillar or bench drill, you'll need to change the gear ratios depending on the type of material that you're drilling. This guide will easily show you how to do this, but the first thing you need to do is isolate it from the power. The first thing we need to do is open the pulley cover. All we need to do is unscrew a few turns and then you can raise the lid. And in here you have two guides. One's inside the machine, the other one will be in the instructions. What it shows you is the different types of material you could be drilling. And it tells you then, depending on the size of the drill bit that you're using, what speed you need to run at. You then take that speed and find it on this side of the chart and it shows you the, the layout of the belts on the pulleys. These are the pulleys. So all you need to do is a side-on view that it's showing there. Position the belts accordingly and your machine will run properly without burning out drill bits. First thing we need to do is to release the tension on this pulley. And we do that by undoing two screws. One this side, one on the other side, which is out of sight at the moment, in the same place. And then we can turn this handle clockwise and you can see the motor is coming in this way. So it's now travelled on its guide pins up to the machine. That now allows us to lift the belt a little while rotating the pulley by hand until it releases. So that's the drive belt removed. The next stage on, the central, central pulley will slide over and you can take this belt off. You can't get them mixed up because the, the drive belt is bigger as you can see there. So you can't get them mixed up, it's easy. And we can lay them out in whatever configuration we want. The same thing applies if your belt has broken, you do the self same thing. So let's pop that down onto that one. And then pull back on this, and then back on here, as you can see I'm pushing down and rotating back on again. So now we're back in position. The next stage on is to then retention so what that's doing is pushing the motor back out in this direction on the guide pins. If you find that it gets hard to do, a little light oil on those guide pins which are in here will help them run smoothly. What we're aiming for when we retension this is a half inch or 12 millimeters of play in this belt. As you can see there, that's about just about right there. Keep the tension on this lever and then tighten the locking, the locking screws here and on the other side and the job is complete. Just close your cover and tighten the screw.